No one ever argues that it is moral or just to discriminate most of the USA soccer public through a closed system with no promotion or relegation. And this question of right versus wrong, moral versus immoral, needs to remain at the center of the movement to open the USA soccer market at a consensus pretty much all of the soccer serious demographic in America, experts and practitioners involved in the coaching and player development landscape, fans of the game around the world, agree that promotion and relegation and an open market for all is the right thing for American soccer. The only way people can argue promotion and relegation in USA soccer is by making it just simply a sporting issue, a superficial issue that doesn't really get to the root of what promotion relegation actually is or does. If you keep it as a competition format, as just a sporting layout or uh, you know, a way to make the entertainment product competitive, well, you're really missing the key points of opening the market in the first place, which is fair opportunity in the industry as a whole. See, USA Soccer extends beyond just the sporting entertainment side. It has a big impact in socioeconomic sphere as well. So uh, an open USA Soccer market, well, it would give opportunity to 9,000 plus USA Soccer clubs to create free-to-play academies, to create scouting networks, that would provide opportunities for numerous kids in America. It would add to the GDP and job numbers of America as a whole with 9,000 clubs slash businesses uh, now having incentive to build and strive for the top of the USA Soccer Marketplace, Division One. So the question of promotion relegation is not just about sport it's about livelihoods of american people and i find a correlation between opposers of promotion relegation usa soccer uh, many of them seem to be the type that believe that soccer is just a game or just entertainment and that is kind of true on the surface but again the reason soccer is so popular around the world and it has been throughout history is because at its essence it has equality and opportunity and it's given people so much not just from a sporting entertainment perspective but also from a life enrichment perspective so you know it's provided for their needs it's given them a sense of identity a sense of culture as clubs and countries, that's a huge part of being involved in the game. Having a club that represents your values, our national team that represents your values or the place you live. So the sport of soccer transcends just pure entertainment or sporting competition. It's about much more than that. And when you connect that essence around the world into soccer here in America, you really see that that's the missing piece between American soccer as it stands now and successful soccer around the world. We really have all the ingredients you need to be a great soccer nation with our national team and our clubs, but we just don't have the same organic, open, natural system that the rest of the world has, one that Let's merit decide who moves up and who goes down. One that lets any community or group of people build a club that represents their values or way of thinking. And some people say, well, you're making this a moral issue, issue of right versus wrong or economic or social opportunity inside of the industry. That's not really that much of a um, moral issue or is it? Is it a human rights issue? You know, look at all of these human rights issues we have 
going on around the world, ones that are a lot closer to immediate life and death impact of people. And just because there are worse issues in the world, and there are many than the soccer ecosystems of countries, just because there are worse issues doesn't mean that the issue of open soccer ecosystems is disqualified. So you can't say, oh, well, because there are 103 worse issues than opening the USA soccer market, therefore the movement to open the USA soccer ecosystem is invalid. And it's just simply not true. And to just use that as an argument against that is, is disingenuous at best. Um, you know, any moral issue, any human rights issue is worth fighting for. And I, and I understand there are varying levels of issues, but who knows how big of an impact opening the USA soccer ecosystem could have, especially when you're talking about financial implications and, like I mentioned earlier, GDP and jobs. Um, you know, in America, we are very privileged in comparison to the rest of the world. So that's going to skew things a little bit when we start to compare global human rights or moral issues. But this game, soccer, could have a huge impact if it is leveraged properly with the global essence of the game of equality and opportunity for all. So keep the issue of right versus wrong at the center of the push for an open U.S. soccer market. It's not purely about business bottom lines or the attractiveness of the sporting competition. It is about livelihoods beyond the soccer pitch. Uh, real people are impacted by new opportunity in, in an industry, and soccer has potential to uh, be huge in America if we align ourselves with the rest of the world and make our soccer American. Let's follow the American dream and make it accessible to all. So if you like this video, make sure to share it out across social media and also subscribe right here to my channel. And I'll talk to you soon.